postman, Professor Billy Mills. This is not a glorification or a glamorization. This is an education. You can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and fifteen. Lock the door. Bakari, man, James Galton. Shout out to Bakari. Yes, indeed, man. That's where I got that name from, Bakari, man. He the one told me I should rock that name. But I do, I did know a brother, because I was like, G2, man, that's a giant, man. I'm five foot nine, man. What you talking about? He was like, no, man, you a giant in your heart, man. You a giant in your heart. I see how you acting up in here, man, you know. So I took the name on, man. But I did know a brother out of L.A. You know, he changed his real name. He changed his name on his birth certificate to G2, man. You know, shots out to G2, too, man. G2 Sadiqi, man. Much love and respect to you, brother. Appreciate yes, that. Sir. So, hard time hustlers, right? Yes. So, there's maybe three to four different sections? At this point, yes. Four corners. That's what we, that's what we call it. Give me the corners. four corners. We got 78th Street, 88th Street, 103rd Street, and the guys that's driving this bus right now is 104th Street. 104th Street. Street. They driving. Yes, sir. And they are they a part of the rolling hundreds as well? Well, the the ten foes, yes, they are. And a lot of people would like to believe that that's new. Like the last five or ten years. Them dudes been rolling one hundred since the eighties, man. Since Peanut, rest in peace. You know, a real live general from this here. I read about Peanut. Peanut was real. Jumbo was real. Jumbo. Yes, sir. We lost we lost three guys at one watt, man. But I was going to ask Peanut, about those two guys. Jumbo and Peanut and T-Mac, man. We lost them dudes. Was some real live dudes, man. I think we'd be much further along right now if we still had them dudes. Personality-wise, give me some on each, each one as far as Peanut, what you can remember about Peanut. That was some of his qualities. What was his well, quality? I'm a, I'm a, I'm not gonna put too much on it because to be honest with you, I never had the honor of meeting Peanut. Okay. By the time I got out of prison in '93, Peanut um, had already lost his life, man. I think he lost his life maybe in 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 February of '93. Then I got out in April of '93. But I had I had heard a lot about Peanut, especially from the dudes out of out of 111 and they left the trade block. It was really telling me things about Peanut. And plus, I met. You know, a few dudes from the other side of Van Ness, you know, blood dudes that was like, that dude with that, that eight, that Chevy, he was one of our main guys we really did not like. So would it be fair to say he was a hand god? Yes, indeed. It would be fair to say that. And he was real. Did you actually know Jumbo? I, I never met Jumbo either or T-Man. So I, they were older guys? Well, no. We were all the same age. That's why I tell the guys, and that's why I tell dudes, man, when it comes to hard time hustlers, man, I, I don't have no big homeboys from Hard Time Hustle, man. It's guys that are equal, you know, who I look at as equal, but as far as Hard Time, I'm, older, I'm pretty much one of the older dudes who been doing it the longest. You know? So what you're telling me, you spent so much time incarcerated. Right, in is, the 80s and 90s. That you you guys miss one another. Yes. Got yes. it. Got yes. it. Yes. Got it. Explain. That right there. Cow dog. We had a guy, Cow dog, man. We lost him too in '89. Man, he was real. And he he took me over there one night, but I, we wasn't able to meet none. So we went over into the um, underground, hollered at, messed with them a little bit. Um, Kickapoo. I never mean, was able to make a dude Kickapoo. They he was some trivial. It was wild to me because he was keeping a his, name. Kickapoo. Uh, you know you. Yeah. All things real. right to your yeah. mind. Why they call him Kickapoo? <laughs> Kickapoo with a K. Kick, okay. Kickapoo. Kickaboo. Yeah. But um, he was warming his hands up on the porch where on a straight barrel full of trash and shit, just putting, you know, wood and shit in it. And he, he, oh, he, he was like, he was on the sand on the tracks yeah. and watch exactly. somewhere. <laughs> that was, I was wild. Yeah. But that was like 89, man. Yeah. I'm sure if anybody see this that, that was around back then, they'd be like, yeah, that was our thing over there. Okay. Yeah. So, again, uh, uh, so you gave me the four corners. What was the, how did you guys go from hustlers and attach the crip? Can you explain that? Well, I So you was hustlers first. Yes. I can explain that as far as 
78th Street, as far as us, because um, it was really because we was fighting with dudes, see, see dudes in them swap meets or whatnot. Y'all ain't Crips, y'all soft. Fuck it, it's Crips. You, know? you got the point to prove. Yeah, fuck it. I can show you better than I can tell you. E-Rock, my boy E-Rock, man, that's another general. He was right, when it come to 78th Street, to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't have never said it till we lost him, but he was he was leading the pack, man, when it come to 78th Street, E-Rock. E-Rock. And y'all can look him up, a lot of people know him. You probably get some hits from some dudes that know him that know him. E-Rock was for real, he was true. The police killed E-Rock on 98th and West, like 2003, 2002. So, how much time did you actually spend incarcerated? The 90s. I did, I, well, I did from 90 to 93, then I stayed out the rest of 93, early 94. I did another bullet, then, you know, I done a little violation another year, went back to Folsom Beach facility, then um, I stayed out, I got out of 95, stayed out to 97. And done the rest of the 90s, got out in 2000. I was able to really stay clear of the police, man, for 20 some years. And that's when I ended up catching a little fed case, going to the fed. Who were the rivals around in that for 78th Street? The 77 seven Swans. We fought them pretty tough, man. And, and to be honest with you, that was part of, of us turning crib, man, they used to just shoot at us. So we just put the C on it, man, start shooting back. Yeah, seven seven swans was right across the street. Then you know they had some little some young brothers, man, our age back then, the Playboy Hustlers, 75th Street, 68th Street. But, you know, that really wasn't my thing fighting them dudes. That's why, you know, a lot of them they may know me, just know me, but I never had no you know, I never personally was against them. It was really the people who was against us. You come over here shooting at us, I'm gonna take it back to you, man, give you what you had coming. So when you first entered the institution, did you go by uh, Youth Authority, YA, and Camps. Did, did you graduate Juvenile. up to that? Well, 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 in 86, I went to camp. I went to camp, and be, you know, in um, 88, I went to, um, 87, I was in like a little, little placement thing. And then 88, I went to um, um, camp. I, I was in camp Mendenhall, well, excuse me, I was in camp Munns in 86, camp Mendenhall in 88. So at that time, is that would that be the same time you came off the porch, or were you still trying to like figure it out well, in was, your mind? I was trying to figure it out. That'd be about it. Cause, uh, mind you, man, we was hard time hustlers. Mm -hmm. So I, I hung with whoever I wanted to hang with. I didn't have we didn't have no problems with no bloods and nothing like that. You know, like I was saying earlier to you, man, was that um, 78th Street. We as 78th Street Hard Time Hustlers is a spinoff of 78th Street Hustlers that ran from Crenshaw to Maine. You know, okay. and uh, I just look up one day, we, 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 you know, was Hard Time Hustlers. We was 78th Street Hustlers first, then, but, and I wasn't from it. Then I look up, we was Hard Time Hustlers. That's when I, you know, just being affiliated with it a little bit. But that was really like in '84. I'm 13 years old. You know, I'm, you know, when it comes to this C thing, I, you know, oh, younger guys that's in it banging, they think I'm OG. But I know I'm still a little homie to the real live OG dudes who I did know. We was, our neighborhood was more, our street, 78th Street. And I didn't even understand this until I ended up going to prison and being in prison with dudes that been down for years and years. You know. That 78th Street, 78th and Broadway, in between Broadway and that freeway, that was a Hoover Street. That was a Hoover Street, man. So, and I knew a lot of, of, of the older Hoover guys, but I just knew them. I didn't recognize them as these real live Hoovers until I got in jail and people was telling me their stories, you know. I'm like, whoa, I know him. I know he was like that. I, did, I had no idea. But much respect to all of them. Them is the dudes who I consider my big homies, but at the same time, I ain't never had no fight because somebody dissed them because I'm from Hard Time Hustlers. You know, I'm from Hard Time Hustle Crip. I don't fight unless you diss us. You understand? I don't, you know, we was 
not necessarily allies with them, but we didn't fight with them. As far as 78th Street is concerned. Lock the door. Straight out of Compton, original streets Grew up with the lion, see what the criminal see Now he a giant and a pivotal key Got it down to a science, this the visual streets He came up with bullet, he came up with turtle Lived life to the fullest, he put it all in the journal We dodging them bullets, we jumping them hurdles It's the hood postman, we in the streets universal uh. Hood postman, Professor Belly Mill This is not a glorification or a glamorization This is an education you can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and 15th. Lock the door.